Greetings StarCraft 2 fans, welcome back for today's daily match and today I'm picking a match uh, with an old Brood War legend that transitioned into StarCraft 2. He actually announced it at least like a week or a couple of weeks ago and you already seen him playing on the Intel Extreme Masters in Cologne Sp in this exactly face-off actually and um, well, I'm just happy that he's here and I'm going to give a further insight to who he is so you guys realize his influence on Brood War and on the StarCraft universe and um, this dominance, especially on Brood War. Hopefully we're going to see some of it on StarCraft 2. So the players here are the Red Terran, it's the little one, Liquid TLO. As you all know, he's playing in Korea, he's been staying there, uh, sharing quarters with the OGS clan, and they've been training and getting ready for the GSL events. So best of luck for TLO. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have to uh, go much further explaining who he is. German player, one of the finest Terrans in the world in my opinion, and such a creative player, so uh, you just have to respect him. And he is here, like I said, Red Terran, and the Blue Terran, it's Nada. So who is Nada? Well, Nada had a nickname on Brood War, he was called the Genius Terran. And he was the creator, or at least he evolved and revolutionized the game with uh, two new strategies. One was the SK Terran, and the other one was recognized as the Tornado Terran. And basically the Tornado Terran was harassing with vultures and meanwhile you just kept macroing and building a huge tank force and when you just feel like you have enough and you want to make a push you just mass up all your tanks and assault your, your, um, your opponent to get a killing blow. And basically his dominance was based on the fact that he was able to macro while microing all those vultures, running around his opponent, harassing him, putting pressure on him and making him commit mistakes and break his game. Uh, and yeah, he is one of the finest Terrans probably ever on Brood War. Hopefully we're going to see more of that skill here on StarCraft 2. Uh, what else records does he hold? Well, as far as I recall, he is the first player to ever win three OSLs. So he was the first one to get the Golden Mouse in the whole history of Brood War. Really impressive. And there's not many players that actually got the Golden Mouse, so respect to that. He was also the first player to get three MSLs. And also, he has the record for being the most, the longer, on the top 30 from Caspa. He spent 87 months from 2002 to 2009 in the top 30 from Caspa. That's just a really, really long time. It's pretty much his whole career. <laughs> it's several years, years and years in a row just being there, being the best and showing his skill to the, to the newcomers. And last but not least, he is also the record holder for being in first place on the Casper ranking for longer. Though he's tied on that one with Boxer and well, you know the quality of Boxer's games as well. So uh, he's two skilled players tied at the top and both of them had 17 months in first place on the Casper ranking. So pretty impressive stuff and that gives them a place on the history of this game obviously and of Brood War so on this one basically they'll just start growing now and hopefully we're going to see both Nada and Boxer showing us some of their skill in the future. So let us focus a bit on the match now, take a look at what's going on here. As you can see on TLO's side, he went from Rax into Factory and getting a second Factory. So he might be considering going from Heavy Mech here. Um, what else is going on on Nada's side? He's been pumping Marines, as you guys can see. And uh, what does he has here? Yeah, Barracks into Factory. He already has a reactor on the racks to get two marines at the same time and now going to s for siege tanks so we might be seeing a marine ball with a mix of mech with some siege tanks it's fairly standard uh, uh, strategy for terran players but obviously on nada's hands things might get different and there it is starport going down so one 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 opening for nada and on TLO side, yeah, he just finished his second factory and getting an armory, so I would say it's going to be like mass hellions probably, based on what I can see on his build, on his production tab. And now with the armory, he's going to go for some uh, Thors to back it up. So two completely different uh, strategies with two of the top Terran players in the world at the moment. This is going to be very interesting to see who gets the, bet the best out of the other guy and takes the win on this match. Uh, also another interesting subject here is the fact that they're playing on blistering sands and as you guys know well blistering sands it's basically gone from um, from the ladder matches they just removed it and replaced it with some other matches because of some balanced issues 
and uh, it's kind of like of a nice farewell to see this game here because I'm pretty sure we're going to stop seeing a lot of blistering sands around, maybe on some tournaments, but not that much. Okay, now, as you can see here, TLO going straight mech. He's not even caring. He's going to send his racks to make some scouting here. He's not even using it. While Nada is massing his uh, marines and some siege tanks. Also, I saw some Vikings coming out, so he's going to have some backup on the air, some, uh, some assistance there. This uh, Rax is going to be used basically for um, for scouting purposes and Nada trying to contain TLO making a, a small siege here close to this cap and here he comes big push with Thor and Hellions he has to land the, the, his Vikings to help out on the firepower on the ground all the siege tanks got destroyed ooh big blow but he focused fire on the Thor and got the Thor down the Hellions are still running around and they will be able to burn to crisp these marines obviously how fast did those marines went just from humans to roasted barbecue, impressive. And as you can see, TLO is taking his time to get his command center on the natural expo. So he's doing the right thing, just expanding while advancing, while putting pressure on his opponent, trying to contain him on his base. And now seems like that Nada doesn't have much of an army left. He only has yeah, basically one siege tank and this marines. And this alien is just staying right on top of the siege tank so he doesn't get destroyed, but finally got exploded. And you guys saw the blast radios over those aliens when they come up the ramp, just destroyed so many of them. Uh, what else is going on here? Let me look. Racks are still flying around. Here comes more Thor reinforcements and the command center is like a bit over half at the moment. And it seems like that um, TLO won't be changing his approach to this game. He's still going for Hellions and Thor. It's gonna be straight mech. Has like, what, two Marines? That's basically it. And Nada doesn't have much of a force as well. As you guys can see there, it's two siege tanks and four Marines. SCV coming to back it up and now the Thor is trying to make a siege to Nada just paying him back and Nada just turned back instantly the second he saw that. What else is going on on the base? Yeah, he has the 111 opening and now going for more racks. So I would say he's going to go for some kind of intense or mass marine marauder. He has several marines. I'm not sure exactly if he's going to invest anything on marauders, but he's getting banshees now. So we're going to have air support for the ground units. And Banshees are very, very effective. They don't have the use they deserve, to be honest. I think that Terran players should give more use to them. Here comes the Barracks once again, flying over those Marines and gonna get shot. But now, burn to crisp once again. These Hellions have been wreaking havoc amongst the lines of Marines lines from Nada. And here comes a siege tank, but he's just basically alone. I think it has just a rally point here. This is not looking good, he's gonna be alone. Yeah, here they are, all of them focusing fire. More Marines coming from the back to help it out and down. Finally, there it is, TLO with his natural expo placed. Now he's gonna start skyrocketing on the income and it appears that Nada isn't very worried about working out of two bases. He's not even planning on getting anything there for now. I don't see any uh, command center getting built. He's just massing up on his um, on his main base and appears to be some kind of straight one base Terran that is playing here. It's an option. Let's see if it works or not. Um, Army, let's see the production. Okay, he's getting some upgrades, the steam pack for his marines, while TLO is getting upgrades for his Terran vehicle weapons. So he will be uh, investing a lot on his uh, Hellions and the, the Thors. Here they are. Thor just trying to contain these units here while he knocks the destructible rocks on the back of the base, probably trying to prepare a surprise attack. Let's see if he's able to succeed here. Nada seems to be pulling his units. Now he has Marauders on the fray. Just joining more on his army. Let's let's check, take a look here. Hellions entering the place, but instantly getting a blast from a siege tank. So pulling back while they're still alive. Here comes a big group of Marine Marauders. Army count, 82 against 57. This is not lo looking good for Nada. Nada is falling way, way behind on his army count. But uh, hopefully he's going to recover in time. He's just trying to control all the access that TLO has and TLO was making a, a turret there, a missile turret, but had to cancel it, no chance. Yeah, there it is. The f the seems like that the racks got destroyed, got shot down, was burning for quite a while now. And on the production, there it is, concussive shells and more siege tank. Siege tech getting researched by TLO. Not sure if TLO is gonna add some siege to his units, but it appears so or he wouldn't be researching the siege tech. Does he have any? No, it's just big amount of tours at the moment. And Hellions continue to mess up there. And we're gonna have a big face off here. Here they come. Thor's facing the, the Nada Marine Marauder Ball with Siege Tanks. Siege Tanks trying to shoot as many Thor's as possible, but I don't think it's enough. Three Thor's, one Thor down, 
three towards the life, focusing fire on those siege tanks and exploding all of Nada's units. Oh, big blow there, and Nada just GG's out of the match. No chance there. Those Thors just focus fire on the siege tanks and completely decimated Nada's forces. Well, this is the first match. I'm going to be uploading another one later on from Nada as well, so I can compose his story and his playstyle. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you all later.